Yo, what is up, everybody? It's Anvaris here today. We got some bad news. Brent Grimes is out for the year with an Achilles in injury. And this is a big blow to the Atlanta Falcons, I think. Because every year, it seems like our defense is getting better and better with the you know addition of Asante Samuel this year. And, you know, with Brent Grimes really getting into, you know, his older years, this might end his career, people. He's a DB. He needs his speed. He needs his agility. And we all know Brent Grimes is that high jumping DB that can guard a lot of taller receivers because he can jump so high. This guy's what? 5'9", 5'10", and he's over here guarding Calvin Johnson's, Jimmy Graham's, and people, you know, way bigger than him. And he never gives up because his jump ability is really a big part of his defense and how he works. But now because he has, I think, torn his Achilles, it was something like that. You know, it's end of his season. It might even be the end of his career. I saw this in the game. I was watching the game, and I saw him limping live. But I didn't think it was that big of a thing because they didn't even talk about it. They barely talked about it, I thought. You know, and I'm pretty sure we were up by that point. So I thought, oh, this is going to rest him. You know, we have DBs. But we did re-sign Dominique Frank. So I don't know who's going to be the nickel corner now. Dante Robinson. You know, obviously needs to step up as last year was a disappointing year as he was new to the team. And now we have Asante Samuel who, you know, try, still maybe trying to learn a defense. I'm not sure. But, you know, really our defense looked all right, I think. Um, week one, actually, I'm not even sure if it even looked all right. Our run defense was um, not really that good. I mean, we do have a really good D-line. And, um. With Jonathan Babino, Corey Peters, Jerry, and some other players, um, Ray Edwards, John Abraham, Roy Beerman, who also comes off the bench and does really nice. Um, our secondary, Thomas Deku, Chris Hope, uh, and um, our linebacking group is, I mean, honestly, with the loss of, um, what's his name, Curtis Lofton, don't even want to think about him. We do have Sean Willispoon, who's an up-and-coming, you know, linebacker. I think his rookie years last year. He did, he's really good. Like, he is really good. And, you know, maybe he can step our team up, step the linebacker group. Uh, we still have Mike Peterson. We have Akeem Dent, young guy from Georgia. We have Steven Nicholas. Um, I think some other people. I'm not even sure who's got cut. I didn't really look at who got cut from the linebackers. But hopefully, you know, the linebackers can step up and, you know, improve this run defense. I, I mean, the Chiefs was a hard game to, you know, decide on, you know, the whole season. Because the Chiefs might have the best O-line in the in the game, in the, in the NFL, because they have a lot of great players, and on the line at least, so we'll see what happens, I think this is a big loss, Lou, I, I'm, I'm not even sure if it's a really big loss, but it's a big loss coming if you're Brent Grimes, because this, you know, Brent Grimes really came out of nowhere, and did really good, I mean, he was kind of old when, you know, we saw him really, you know, play good, and he, I'm pretty sure he started off as a kick returner, at least that's when I saw him. So, now we have to wait and see what's going to happen with Brent Grimes' career. Asante Samuel's older. Dante Robinson's older. And so, maybe this year, we might have to go into, you know, the draft thinking corner, 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 corner. Or make some moves for a corner. Or even trade for a corner or sign one. I, I said trade for him twice. So, we'll see what happens. But thank you guys for watching the video. And peace.